whispers here. And today, I figured it's 3.30 a.m. I've been having trouble sleeping last night, and I figured, why not, and decided to do a video. I recently became verified, and thought why not make a rather long video for those wondering. This game here is Mountain Blade Warband, however, what I am playing is a mod for it. Mountain Blade has a warband at least has several, several mods, and I believe most of the Mountain Blade series has several mods in it. If you have a mod that you would like to see showcased in my Let's Play here of this game, I will be happy to play it. I will probably go over my favorite mod the Kago Kujo mod in the future. But, for now, let's load it up. Start a new game. I may have to turn down the sound in game as, <laughs> well, you can imagine what screaming men probably sound like when you're trying to relax. <clears throat> Welcome, adventurer, to Diplomacy for Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by the male members of nobility. It does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles have somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals. In fact, may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Select your character's gender. For this game, at least this playthrough, we're going to be doing a male character. I know, boring, but I uh, there's something weird about me. I don't play opposite genders very well. Some people can do it with no problem, but whenever I play a game and I get an option to. I choose to play my actual gender, which is male. Now, you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was hmm, an impoverished noble, a traveling merchant, a veteran warrior, a hunter, a steppe nomad, a thief. For this game, let's do a veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets, with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a page at a nobleman's court, a craftsman apprentice, a shop assistant, a street urchin, a stepchild. Hmm. Normally, when I play on my own, I would have chose the impoverished noble than a page at a nobleman's court so on and so forth. But for this game, and because I'm saying you people want to see me struggle a little bit, let's go with a street urchin. As a boy growing out of childhood, you took to the streets doing ever what you whatever you must to survive. Begging, thieving, and 
working for gangs to earn your bread. You lived from day to day in this violent world, always one step ahead of the law and those who wished you ill. Then, as young and adult, life changed as it always does. You became a squire, a troubadour, a university student, a goods peddler, a smith, a game poacher. Let's go with a... game poacher. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. Dissatisfied with common common men's desperate scribble for coin, you took to the local lord's own forest and decided to hunt yourself to the, its bounties. Laws be damned. You hunted stags, boars, and geese, and sold the precious meat under the table. You cut down trees right under the watchmen's noses, and turned them into firewood that warmed many freezing homes during winter, all for a, f a few silvers, of course. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power. I always choose either the loss of a loved one or wanderlust. So, but for this one, seems like our character is a bit of a, um, I won't say evil is the right word. <laughs> evil is a matter of opinion, of course. Wow, I'm starting to really sound like Dark Zyphorus a little bit here. <laughs> well, no matter. Let's go with personal revenge for this one. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave. With the rage burning brightly in your heart, you want vengeance. You want justice. What was done to you cannot be undone, and these debts can only be paid in blood. Become an adventurer and ride to destiny. Now, we can either ch What will your game saving policy be? Realistic, no quitting without saving. Allow me to quit without saving. For the sake of this let's play, because I always choose this. We're going with the allow me to quit without saving. Now enter your name and distribute your attribute, skill, and weapon points. You can click on various elements on the screen and how each one will affect your character. Now, I like this right here. I have a high archery and a high one handed weapon skill. I'm very big, in this game at least, on archery and one-handed weapons. Now, this right here is your best friend. Let's increase our... I'm going to put point there, point there, and we're going to go ahead and... We're going to put surgery. Each... <coughs> My mouse is being a little sporadic, I apologize. Surgery. Each point to this skill gives a 4% chance that a mortally struck party member will be wounded rather than killed. Party skill. This right here is, like I said, your best friend in this game. You will learn early on that in this game, the less people that die, the better. So going to max this out, which as a first level character and with not a lot of intelligence going, we can only do so much there. We're also going to increase our iron flesh and our power draw. And with the last two points we're going to put it into writing and we'll put a point into horse archery. 
and for the 15 points we have to spend, I'd like to dump that into our one-handed skill. So our weapons with will increase, and with that last little point, we'll dump it into archery. Oh, I almost forgot. We need a name. And for this game, we're going to refer to ourselves as that. The Ninja. <laughs> kind of a homage to my old account, which is still this account, but the, um, my failed attempt at being a let's player for a little bit. Tutorial. Adjust your character's face using the buttons and sliders. To rotate the head, click on it and drag the mouse. So, for this, we are going to have a... Oop, didn't mean to do that. I always like dark colored hair. Where's the scroll through the hairs. This is my favorite hair and normally what I give my characters in this game. So, but I think I saw... Yeah, let's go with that one. So, skin color. I like this one. I what the... Yeah, I figured as much. This looks good. To make him a little bit old. We could always be a real old man, but nah. Let's give him a little bit of age. Probably early twenties or mid twenties. And let's start let's lighten up his hair just a tad. So it's not solid black. Well, it still is, but there is a tint of brown. Well, hopefully this won't be too loud here. Done. You hear about call call rea Ugh. See, this name right here has always been a pain. You hear about Colradia. A land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind to start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you, drawn by the stories you hear about Colradia and its kingdoms. You join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Swadia, join a caravan to Raven in the kingdom of the Vagars, join a caravan to Tolga, the Kurjid Khanate, take a ship to Saragoth, in the ki <laughs> excuse me, in the kingdom of the Nords, take a ship to Jakala in the kingdom of the Rodots, join a caravan to Shariz in the Serenid Sultanate. For this, because we are playing the Freelancer mod, normally I would go to the Nords because, well, can you beat the Nords really? Even in this game, the Nords are some of the toughest bastards you'll ever meet. Hey, if I'm right, my friend who turned me on to this series says, if you're going to try and take over Kalradia, start with everything else, then go for the Nords. And you'll understand why if we come up across them. For the Freelancer mod, we're going to go to Swadia. Because the best horse class, and I'm a cavalier by heart in this game. I love horse bay, uh, horseback combat. Um, there, well, you'll see. 
You came by caravan through the heartland of Koradia. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills and on the lower slopes of the snow-caped mountains. Herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The lands here are as rich, but also troubled as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the of forest, where desperate men have taken refuge, and it is some relief you crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven, rooftops made of made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven, and fall asleep quickly. However, you awaken before dawn, and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are all still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hair of your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. A hmm, little bit of lag on the game. Now, before we continue, I'm going to turn this down to about here. So, where is the bastard? Every game, you always start out fighting. There he is. <laughs> and that's why you don't fuck with me. And here comes the merchant to come give us some thing. You'll see. Are you all right? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchants take you to his house. Merchants. <laughs> Merchant. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the streets, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills. Driven to banditry by war, debt, or love, of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild, venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers, fewer men to keep an eye on the streets. But I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who help them enter unnoticed and help them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know why. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these? Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse. But he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade. Well, I did just kind of kill a guy with an axe rather brutally. I swear, if anyone starts singing the Lizzie Borden nursery rhyme, I must. You more importantly, and more importantly, excuse me, you must have a bit of fire in the, your belly, or so you wouldn't be coming to Colradia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do: gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. Return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a belt of silver. What do you say? I'm interested. 
You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. You first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work. They're more interested in than tilling. Ah, that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purchase of a hundred dinars. Consider it in advance on your reward. Go round to the villages, use the money to hire some help. I reckon that you'll need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the tavern here in Praven. After you've got your group together, then we'll speak about what we do next. You have taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q anytime in game. Alright. Let's tab out real quick. And we are going back to you are now viewing the overland map. Left click on the map to move your party to that location. Enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause over the overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To wait anywhere, simply press and hold down the spacebar. Now normally, I would probably gather up a group, but I am not 100% confident with my power just yet, so we are going to do something I do often in this game, and we are going to go do some training. Good day, friend. If you come to uh, be watch the tournaments, you came in vain. will be a tournament here anytime soon. Tournaments? So they hold the tournaments here. Yes, you should see the place during one of the tournament fights. Everyone from the town and nearby villages comes here. The crowd becomes mad with excitement. Anyway, as I said, there won't be an event here soon, so there isn't much to see, except there's an official duel every now and then, and of course we have melee fights almost every day. Tell me about the melee fights. The fighters and knights get bored waiting for the next tournament, so they invented the training melee. It's a simple ideal, really. Fighters jump into the arena with a weapon. There are no rules, no teams. Everyone beats at each other until there's only one fighter left standing. Sounds like fun, huh? Is there a reward? Can I join too? Haha, <laughs> you would have to be a mind not to, of course. Melee fights are open to all. Actually, there's going to be a fight soon. You can go and hop in if you want to. Good, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I want you guys, uh, while we are kind of beating the crap out of people here, I wanted to ask you a question. Ah, crap. Sorry, it's hard to concentrate and beat people down at the same time. I need to swap off my blade real quick, because I'm better with this. Alright. The sword and shield's really nice in this game, but you can pretty much beat it. If you know what you're doing, you can beat people down with just about anything. And that's taking care of that. Okay. This is where I gotta be careful. So I wanted to ask you guys a question. My next plan for my, oh, hold on, next role play is going to be a, oh, got me there, is a, going to be a ninja role play, and I wanted to ask, uh, if you people wanted to see any references to anime. I'm, of course, a huge anime fan, and, whoa, little bastard almost got me there. Thank you, Archer. And I wanted to see if you guys wanted possibly, while it's not fully ninja appropriate, maybe a reference to the Akatsuki, or 
I was actually thinking about eventually doing some anime official roleplays. In fact, now that I mentioned the Akatsuki, one idea that's always been swarming around my head is a um, whoop, a Akatsuki roleplay where I'm playing a Akatsuki member initiating you into the infamous group. Ah, shit. Now then. <clears throat> Wonder if this is too loud. Um, I don't know. Could be. But, let's grab this practice shield here. Actually, we can pick up more than one shield, so let's pick up another. So now we have a couple shields. We've only got to get through a few more. These two are going at it, so I'm not going to worry about them. Go watching my back often here. And especially got to keep an eye out. You see, the uh, game likes to... That's right. Focus on him. Fuck! Well, <laughs> you can only get so far. Especially in this game. Starting out, you're rather weak. Your performance was amazing. You are without a doubt a very skilled fighter. Not everyone can knock down 14 people in the fights. Of course, you deserve a prize with that performance. 25 dinars. Nice, eh? What would you like to do? I need to leave now. Goodbye. I will be um, probably coming back here and doing a bit of grinding off screen. I'm certain watching me beat the ever living crap out of people with wooden weapons isn't exactly exciting unless it's a tournament. <laughs> See that parkour right there? Some hardcore parkour right there, man. Alright, inventory. Got some dried meat, some furs. Battered plane, kite shield. Don't know why we have that. Probably sell that chipped axe. Well, no, I'll probably sell the chipped axe here. Let's see here. Tab. Let's go to the marketplace. Arms merchant. Sell them our furs because we don't need it. And is he selling a one handed weapon? Chipped fighting pick, heavy axe that's two handed, two handed, uh, saber 382. Hmm, we could always get a rather decent weapon from just actually. Uh, reclaim that. Since the bastard doesn't have enough money. Armor merchant. Nope. Goods merchant. Aha, he has enough. And we'll sell this for. Well, should we? Yeah, we'll keep the shield. We should be 675. You know what? We're Instead of trying to buy a sword. We're gonna go over to the tavern real quick. Is there a ransom broker? Ah, oh, damn. Now I'm a little disappointed. Normally, well, you'll see later on, but. Well, for now, it's not a big deal. Alright. I've put this off long enough. It's almost 30 minutes in, and we haven't even begun to do, start the. Oh shit. Shit, 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 I'm not quite confident in myself to take out 11 men by myself without, um, well, I'll explain how to do that in a bit. Three swatting recruits want to follow you. Cool. You see, in this game, um, you can... Looters, fuck, gotta avoid those. 
Yeah, I apologize for my swearing if it offends some people. I just want you to know that I don't do it to offend anyone. I just say it to say it. And I try not to let it slip too much, but uh, when I get into my, I guess you could call it gamer zone, it slips a lot, especially while I'm trying to keep calm and trying to focus in on the uh, thing, and especially when I start worrying about getting attacked like you saw there. How's our... Okay, we have plenty of dried meat. speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna go over here, recruit volunteers. Alright, we should have enough men now. We're going to head back to Prava now. And step inside. There's a tournament here. Mm, mm, tempting, tempting. You know what? Sure. Place a bet on yourself. Go ahead. Fight in the next round. You know, I could have made... I am probably made a very stupid mistake, but I know how to do this part. Especially the problem is... I don't have a lot of uh, training with pole arms, so I can't do. And I'm rather slow on horseback. But the best thing to do for fighting with on horseback is to, especially in these tournaments where they'll sit for hours just bashing each other against a wall is to just kind of run up, get a good build up of speed and pull back your lance and like you see there and boop. oh well <laughs> see I, t I was talking about how to do that properly and I done goofed. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shields don't take, a, take lance damage very well. The fact that that thing's withstood that impact was kind of a uh, godsend. gonna happen. Deliver some extra damage to the horsey. See, I've gotten fair, if you haven't noticed, even as crappy as I am right now with my skill set, my, I even know how to play on horseback pretty well as much as I've played this game. There goes his horse, which pretty much makes him about as threatening with that lance as a newborn. Poke. Poke. Now we take this. Get him. Get him, buddy. Yes, yes. Battle for my amusement. Mwahaha, <laughs> dance, puppet stance. Do 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 do
doodly doodly do 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 doodly doodly do 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 Sorry, I was getting I was making my horse dance. Alright. Let's finish this up here. Boop. Goodbye. Fight in the night. See, I could stack my beds and make about 2300 on top of the 200 I've spent. Uh, which I would get back. But I don't want to push my luck. You see, the more money you spend in this game, it seems like the more likely the AI is to basically beat the ever living snot out of you. Oh shit. one-shot these guys, but the reason I'm playing imported characters now is more for my own amusement, but the there's nothing wrong with playing a natural character and beating the game like that. Ah, shit. This is not good. Well, he's kind of trapped in the corner there, so I don't have to worry. Oh. I overshot that one a little bit, but that's okay. Just means I've got to not play around as much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, he's got me trapped again. Build up some speed. Come on, horsey. We can do this. There's 1300 gold on the line here. This isn't the first time I've been in this kind of position. It's just never fun. It's better. <sighs> Especially when you're going up against night. Uh, this, uh, this kind of stuff. This is why I prefer when I do tournaments to go to the Nordic Kingdom. Because they're tournaments you can generally consist of just beating more like the melee fights than anything. Or you beat the crap out of each other with wooden weapons. Oh no! Ah, this ain't good. I might have to... Where's my... Ah, f where's my... Oops. There's that horse. I'd have to... There, I guess my partner was good for something after all. Giving me... There we go, that's one down. Horseback battles uh, with lances. 
are generally extremely long. I apologize for this kind of boring scene, but these are extremely intense if you're playing this yourself. But I'm pretty positive to the rest of you. This just seems like me getting some lucky shots in as I'm kind of avoiding getting hit. Ah. Victory for the ninja. Let's fight in the next round. Alright. Uh -oh. Ah, no. No, no, no. Ow. See, once you skip more than people in this, it starts getting a little hectic. <laughs> it seems like the AIs have it out for me. Or at least, that's what it seems like. I love pile-ups like that, though. If you look over there, all those I would turn up the um, difficulty of the AI where they would actually have some skill to them, but I fear that I wouldn't be able to keep this calm, quiet demeanor while I do that. So we're just going to have to deal with Simpson level uh, artificial intelligence here. Poke. A hall shall fear the power of the ninja's wushu finger poke. And by wushu finger, I mean a big pointy stick. It's for something. Isn't that Usernia? Nope, that's a mercenary horseman. Well, there just went. Oh, so that was Xernia that was chasing me down. Joyous. Ha. <sighs> See, the bad thing about weak AI, weak AIs is means that your team are weak. Er, uh, is rather weak too. And. Uh, how did he do that? Oh well. I'll break that shield if you keep that up. I'm sad. <laughs> I know there are probably people out here pissed that I keep hitting the horse. But. I promise people, no real horses were harmed in the making of this Let's Play series. Besides, the, vir the, vir the virtual horses are no worse than the plastic horses you buy from the dollar store and your set of cowboys and Indians uh, figurines. So, they, it's not like I'm actually hurting real horses or anything. But the reason I kind of aim for the horse is once they're on the ground, lances are essentially the most useless thing you can possibly wield. There we go. Oh, that was King Haralus, who is the um, king of the Swadian Knights, who we will be meeting soon. Alright, four teams with one fighter each, which means... Ow! Which means I'm being an idiot, and possibly risking losing... How did he 
she do seven damage. Alright, enough for me being very I'm being stupid here. Oh, watch out. No, you're not going to poke me. Only I get to poke people. Alright then. Let us battle, Mr. Hired Blade. Aha! Your Wushu finger poke needs some skill to pay the bills. Oh, that's not fair. I poke your shield. I don't mind breaking your shield. Just means that when I go in for the stabby McStabs, that you can't block it. going to be really annoyed if he did four damage and I didn't do any. Let's see here. Oh, that was such a perfect spot, too. Why did my horse have to collide with it first? And now he's going to get a good headwind. Possibly boop. Just Six damage to a horse. Take this. Ah, so easy to trick a AI. Twenty seven damage to a horse. Don't give me that crap horse. How is your shield still standing? Oh well. No matter. There we go. Just needed a good shot at it. Alright, you are four participants, two teams with one fighter each, which means one on one combat on horseback. See, I told you guys that I loved horseback combat, but this is the part of horse fighting that I. horseback combat that I hate. See, well, in fighting with. L lances, at least, are an extremely, extremely tedious. And that was stupid of me. Extremely stupid me, mind you. You see, while I can talk all day about how slow and tedious it takes to do enough damage with the crouched lance. Once it's not that hard to get a good shot in eventually. And when you get that shot in, you just saw what can happen. Do note that these NPCs are probably very, very low low oh no. This one's got some speed. Which means he's probably going to be able to beat my system of dodging and weaving. Oh. So I'm going to continually poke your horse.
first concern. Or poke you if I get the chance. Come on. Let's have some fun, shall we? Yes. Oop. I do believe you missed there, sir. Poke. No. Don't touch me with your pointy stick. No. No, 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 no. Ah, no me gusta. So, for those watching the comments, tell me what you think of this series. Do you want me to continue it? Or would you prefer to see something else? I do have... Oop. I do have games like Minecraft and Terraria. While I'm no good at either of them, really. I would, if that's what you people would like to see on this channel, I'll be happy to oblige with a ASMR Minecraft series or a ASMR Terraria series. I just figured if I'm going to do a Let's Play series, might as well start out with a game that I enjoy. But, or even if you'd like to see more Warband, but want to see a different mod, I'd be happy to include that mod in my system. Right now, all the mods I have are the native, which of course is just vanilla, mo uh, vanilla Mountain Blade, um, the Freelancer mod, the Gecko Kujo mod, which is essentially Feudal Japan, which is probably my favorite out of the mods, and then I have a mod called the Naruto mod. Which, of course, is exactly what you think it is. So the Naruto Mountain Blade um, mod, which includes things like Jutsu and armor, which are consist of outfits from the anime. No, you don't get to meet people like Naruto or stuff, but I do... I do know that one of the characters in the game is actually Madara Uchiha, who, if you people probably don't know, well, you might know, is my favorite, one of my favorite Naruto characters. The Uchiha clan is my near, near very near and dear to my heart. <clears throat> you have won the Tournament of Praven. You are filled with the pride of the crowd. Cheers your, as the crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you earn a prize of 200 dinars. Moreover, you earn yourself of 1,300 dinars from clever bets you placed on yourself. You are also invited to attend the ongoing feast in the castle. Well, let's go to the feast real quick. How you doing? Aren't you a pretty boy? Sure got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Dustin Khan. Do I know you? My name is The Ninja at your service. I am Dustin Khan, son of Jacques Janakir Khan, rightful Khan of the Kurgids. I thought the Kurgid was ruled by Sanjur Khan. Sanjur Khan and I are brothers, sons of the old Jan Khan, although of different mothers. Though I was the younger brother, all of those who knew the old Khan would testify that throughout my father's life I was his favorite and trusted with the responsibilities of government. Sanjur embarrassed himself with hunts and feasts to win the affection of the more dissolute of my father's commanders. According to the courage of custom, when a man dies, his herds are split between all his sons equally. So to it is with the Khanate. When I heard of my father's death, I, I was away inspecting her borders, but I hurried home to Tolka, ready to get
Gibbs Center to and share the conning with him, but when I arrived, I found it that he rushed his supporters to the court to have himself proclaimed as the sole con. My brother thinks the courage is willing to respect strength, the leader who takes what he wants when he wants it, but I think he misreads the spirit of our people. We admire resolute leader, but even moreover, we just uh, won't. But even more, we just won, and we know th um, that a man who does not respect his own brother's rights will not respect the rights of his followers. I must leave it out. Farewell for now, then. I generally don't do the uh, things like that. You must be the ninja. We just had the honor of watching you distinguish yourself in the recent tournament. Can I help you with anything? I must beg my leave. Farewell, the ninja. Count Montewar, do I know you? I am the ninja. I am Count Montewar, son. And of Count Riss and the Lord of Asgard and Eledra. Peace to you, and always remember to temper your valor with mercy, your courage with honor. Let us lift a cup of wine to the health of our host, King Corallus. Now, what is it? Must beg, must beg my leave. Yes, yes, for a while. Count Raffard, Count Devlin, King Corallus. Do I know you? I am the ninja. I am King Horalos and ruler of the kingdom of Swanee, and then the lord of Praven and Talbot. You may be of common birth, but know that I am always looking for good men to fight me. You can prove themselves to be worthy of my trust. I wish to welcome you to my welcome you, you to my hall on this auspicious occasion. Now, what is it? Now, later on, if we continue with this series, I'm going to be doing this right here. The my lord, I wish to. I I wish to like to like to and I would like to like to typo. I would like to enlist in your army. I must beg my leave for now. Of course the ninja farewell. You see for all respect the ninja. And tab go to the before I finish this episode, I'm going to at least do the starting mission. Watchmen, wandering. There you are. Splendid work. You hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers, during Praven had told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of the town. Expect that they are all from the same band. The one that took my brother, hunt them down and defeat them, and then make them disclose the location of their lair. Very well, I shall hunt for the bandits. Mm. Now, where? Aha, there you are. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where. Keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha, those prisoners are only going free if you pay the ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Cold, cold steel. Charge the enemy. It's always nice to start out with a horse in this game, but you can, of course, not use it. I prefer personally to have a horse in combat in this game, unless I am playing a character with a 200 plus in his decks, and I can probably outrun most horses. I went the wrong way. It seems, at least. Ah, here's one. Ow, you hit me. Take that. Chop, 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 down you go. Chop, chop, chop. High five to everyone who gets the uh, reference there. Ah, you're trying to run away, but you cannot run from the ninja. If you get knocked out because... There we go. Ooh. Battle 1, 
three robbers, four, three killed, one wounded. Kill count, but my casualties are none. I spare me, spare me life. Let me go, and I'll go far away from here. Learn an honest trade, and you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him, and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts, and you can go free. I bless you, bless you, sir. Oh, we've been, we've done the lad no harm. Been keeping him in our hideout near Vidar. Describe the area in detail so there's no mistaking it. Um, chip, uh, chipped butchery knife, club. Not really worth it for now. I'll deal with a two-handed weapon until I, well, have a good source of money. And we are going to go over here. You approach the hideout. Looters don't appear to have spotted you yet. And you could still sneak away unnoticed. A difficult approach to the side, down a narrow defile, means that only a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack. They will be unable to bring their horses. If, you, if your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout, or wait for another occasion? Attack the hideout! Dun 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 I do fully recommend if you play this game to turn on the music either in this mod or in any mod really you play. The music in these games are almost always Amazing, Espe especially in the Gecko Kujo mod, which I know I keep referencing, but it is, like I said, my favorite mod for this game. The um, Naruto mod has good music, but it's mainly mainstream things like Lincoln Park and so on. It's not actually any what I feel is self crafted music, but there's nothing wrong with that, of course. I like things like Lincoln Park and Disturbed and all that. Tell me a bit about her favorite music, so I'd love to hear from you and tell me a bit about what you listen to. Oh, I almost killed the merchant's brother. <laughs> Merchant's brother, thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother and Praven put you on their track? Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you return to your family as quickly as you can, and be careful on the road. With the retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attacks. Hide out in their Ilkhan canes are now yours. Let us access the items on the ground. Ooh, see, this is what I was talking about. Take the nomad boots. We are going to also. How good is our armor? We're gonna take the ragged nomad armor. Is there anything else worth taking? Uh, sure. We'll take a cap. And of course, I'll probably get some better armor down the line, but until then, there we go. Let your heroes access, yes. Leave the items on the pool, and the item pool, and continue. Awesome, we can upgrade our characters. Swatian Militia. See, this is the big part about the game, is upgrading your soldiers and getting them to the best you can. see swatting militia become either swatting footmen or skirmishers and it goes up from there into different things Oop. now we're gonna work on our characters I'm gonna show you guys something real quick the this right here if you'll click st statistics you'll pull this menu up right here which is exporting and importing your character if you 
export your Mountain Blade character, you can pull up it in a document, and I'll show you, well, I don't think I can show you all too well. I'll show you in a minute or um, another time. If you pull up in your documents and then go to your Mountain Blade um, folder and go to characters, you can mess with the skill levels of your characters, make them stronger, etc., etc., and give them large amounts of money so they don't ever have to work for it. Give uh, increase their skills to all tens or whatever. However, there are a couple things that you shouldn't do, and if this series gets popular enough, I'll explain them later. Alright, so we're going to increase our intelligence again, increase our surgery, and we're going to put a point into our... this, our wound treatment, and then we're going to increase our one-handed to max that out, and then we're done. And let's go back to Braven, where we're um, about to wrap up the episode, and um, no, I'm not going to join the tournament again. We'll take care of that. I'll take care of that either off-screen or I'm probably going to end this episode and pick it up after we finish the first. Well, my brother is home safe. Not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside Coradia. That way if he gets knocked on the head in a street ball, no one can say it's my fault. That's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It's well learned. The money is most welcome and the man I'm glad to be of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly, what do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an alley inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, the captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow me some money to sponsor a caravan. Fortunately, like the men, any who are new to commerce, failed to realize that the great profit comes only with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. Of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. Um, as a consequence, it seems, our captain turned to villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if the heavens forbid I ever face indebtedness and ru ruination. Now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform them on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale. He brings them into the town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, it's unfortunately in karate, as some gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, the, there are a few, there are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who told me how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of King Karalius, lord of the city, but the would mean an inquiry, and my word against the captains and witnesses can be bought and evidence can be destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again, and all I'll get for my troubles is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer, so I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits, and we'll storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before King Corrales, hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle. I can't think of anyone better than you, so what do you say? How do I know you're telling me the truth? Oh well. Oh well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who are willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in old private. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you learned by now that money is good. There's another hundred dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you if you do me this last little favor, so what do you say? Alright, I'll lead your men. Splinted. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. What? Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. 
Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit him. May the heavens be with you. You leave the tavern and go on to the streets. Nervous-looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes. Catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you. As you pass by, praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all-too-obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. It's time, lads. Up and at them. Alright, where's some bandits at? I'm gonna cut a bitch up. That's a lot of them. Uh, don't worry about that. With about a seventy, luckily, my one at handed is pretty high, so I can do some damage. Hmm. Well, I can't get in there, so. I'm few bandits scatter off to the town, narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure that your victor is complete, or victory is complete, and all the wounded have been taken care of. You and the merchants head to his house to review the day's event. Ah, well done. I saw at least three of them enemy go down before you keep fighting like that, and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Fortunately, about eight of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. I'm, I'm glad to see that you're alive, too. Let every villain learn the, to fear the name the ninja. The heavens alone grant us victory. I'm going with this one. Yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys, the watch captain, pinned down in the back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before King Aurelius and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be a part of that, though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. Or don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike out for the city gate. I'll assume you know enough to stay out of the town for a while and forget the whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully we'll meet again. Then. And this is where I'm going to. We are going to leave real quick. Save the game. And I thank you for watching and hope that you have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your night.